Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Lydia. How was your night? It was fine, Dad. How is your body and how are you feeling this morning? I'm fine, thank you. How about you, Ma? How are you feeling this morning? I don't feel too well. I'm feeling bad pains. I'm sorry about that. Well, I and Peter will be traveling for some weeks now. Another trip? When did he get back that he wants to be traveling around already? We want to go and see a family member of his. Turns out that he is an uncle. That's good. These are your plane tickets, Ma and Dad. You will both be leaving tomorrow morning back to Lagos. Flight tickets? You're going back to Lagos? Why? Because I and Peter are leaving Abuja tomorrow as well. That doesn't mean we have to leave now. We can stay here waiting for both of you return. Ma, that's not going to be possible. All the staffs are also going on a break and we will use this opportunity to bring in the cleaners that will clean the mansion. Thank you, Lydia. See, you've done more than enough for us. We will get our bags ready to leave tomorrow morning. Okay, Dad. Thank you for understanding. What do you mean by we will leave tomorrow? We have overstayed our welcome here. I told you we should have left since. How have we overstayed our welcome? How, Ben? I'm going to talk to Peter. He should allow us to stay while he travels. If you are the only one staying behind, no problem. But I am leaving as well. No, Dennis! Dennis! Baby, it's okay. I'm here with you. George is here with you. Oh my god! I had a bad dream, George. It was so scary. You dreamt of Dennis, right? Because you called out his name. I dreamt of him. He stabbed himself, George, and I tried to stop him, but he didn't listen to me. He killed himself. It's just a dream. I'm sure none of that would happen. Were you thinking about him? No, I wasn't. Why would I? Have you two been talking lately? Started chatting again? Nothing of such between us, babe. Why would I chat with him again? I don't know. I'm just checking to find the reason why you had probably saw him in your dream. You are asking all the wrong questions, George. I don't like having scary dreams. I don't like it. It ruins my whole day. I'm sorry about it. I think you should go and take a shower. Would help you relax. Let me go and get you something to eat. This dream isn't good. This is a bad dream. Why would he kill himself because of me? No, he won't do that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I was the one who was already thinking of him. That's why I had this bad dream. I can't let George know that I met him. No, I can't. I can't lose Esther not after I've come back to Nigeria. This will just ruin my plans. No, I can't lose everything that I have planned. I love this lady and I want to have a home with her. Who is even this guy that he's, he's claiming to be in love with? Who is he? This is what George looks like. She even updated her profile picture with him. How could I not have seen the picture? She can't leave me. She told me she loves me. We both had a plan and we are working on actualizing it. She can't back out now on me now. No. Good morning, my love. Dennis, it's too early for you to be calling me. It's not too early. Or is your fake groom lying down with next to you? Is he with you? What do you want? Your love, Esther. I want your love. To love you, be with you, and achieve our dreams. I'm going to end this call now. Please, let's just forget about everything. Please, Dennis. Let's meet again. I have something I want to share with you. I'm busy. Great time for me, or I will come over to the house and see you. You wouldn't dare to do that. I would, Esther. I told you I'm a crazy lover. And when I love a person, I love the person regardless of his circumstance. My love don't die easily. Let me and talk about things one more time, please. I will think about it when I get back to you. But for now, please stop blowing up my phone. I love you and I don't want to lose you, darling. I can't lose her. I told you not to meet up with him, didn't I? Yes, you did, but I had to. I have to see him with my own eyes and I have to tell you that he was really cute and classy. Does that mean you, you like him already? You're catching feelings? I've always had feelings for him. Seeing him send butterflies to my belly and I wanted just a hug. Kiss him but I knew better than to do that. Doesn't sound that way to me. It's like you're still in love with him. I don't know. See, he's the man I've always wanted to be with. The man I wanted to marry. What about George? I and George are cool. We are both together and I agreed to be with him. Cancel the whole contract and be his real bride. And I'm standing to that. Well, if you're standing by that, you have to stop seeing Dennis or thinking of laying with him in bed. Remove that thought from your head. I didn't say I want to be in bed with him. You don't need to say it. I can see it in your eyes. From the way you're talking, it's obvious that you want him and kind of like him. I like him. I don't think I'll see him again unless I go and do something I'm not meant to do. Introduce him to me. Let me meet him and I'm sure he's a wealthy, right? Hell no. I'm not introducing you to him. Why would I do that? Why can't you? You don't love him, right? You've got judge in your life, don't you? 
I'm not introducing you to him. You've got to be careful around Dennis. Don't go on to hurt George. Don't see him again. I knew she had come like two months ago when George was talking about those cuts in the whole contract. He would have jumped in his arms and accepted him, right? Home sweet home. Look at how Ru is dusty. Yeah, it's dusty. All thanks to you who didn't want to come back home. You can't blame me. I wanted us to stay with Lydia because it's way better and easier for us there. Now that we have gotten home, everything is very stressful. What is stressful here? Everything is stressful, Ben. Here, I have to do everything by myself. Washing of the plates and washing of your clothes. I'm thinking of getting us a washing machine with the money Lydia gave me. Doesn't sound like a bad idea to me, but now you're meant to share the money she gave us equally. You, this woman, didn't she also give you your own money? Your money is our money, while my money is my money. It's good to be home. Christmas come quickly, I beg, so I'll go back there for Christmas celebration. We are not going anywhere. Have you heard from Sharon? No, I haven't, and I'm sure she's doing for wherever she is. Once her brain is back to normal, I'm sure she'll come back home. I'm glad we took this trip. Do you know how long I've been craving for this trip? You're having it now? Lydia, I've been meaning to ask, how did you do it? How do you mean? How did you get the money? How did you turn your fashion house to be worth millions? Just business, Peter, and connection. I've told you about it already. Why ask again? Because it's surprising to me. Like, in just one year, look at everything we've gotten. I know it's also surprising to me. Believe me. But I don't have any explanation to give. I follow the guidelines. And then I built more relationship with people. I'm lucky to have you in my life. I am also lucky to have you in my life. The only thing I want now is to have our baby. That will make me the happiest man in the world. The day you will bear me my child. Very soon, hopefully. It bothers me though. Hey, that's not what was meant. Bothering you isn't the intention here. See, anytime we are blessed with a child of our own, I'll gladly accept it. I know. Well... Have you decided on opening the store back, your shop? Yes, I have, but you know money. Money isn't going to be a problem. I will give you the money. Just let me know how much you need for the business. As a good businessman, which I am, I'm going to be needing around 5 million. Okay, consider it done. Are you serious right now? Or are you kidding me? I've just sent the money to you right now. Check your phone. My big sis, look at the way you're looking all rounded and fresh. That's what everyone has been telling me. You really enjoyed yourself in Abuja that I thought you and Ben are not going to come back anymore. Abuja was nice, but Lydia has issues. That girl is not raising her shoulders because she has money now. Are you serious or you're joking? You wouldn't believe this, but she chased me and her father out of the house. She came up with a lie that her and her lover is going for a trip. She's not lying on the trip. I saw her pictures online. Her and Peter are currently in Aquaribum for a carnival. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. It's on her status. I don't see her status on my phone. She must have broke me from seeing it. Maybe she did. Who knows? But she took good care of you. I'm impressed. She didn't do anything. It was Peter that took care of us. He just spending his money anyhow she likes, doing what she likes. Ha! Huh. That girl doesn't know how to manage herself at all. Have you seen the shops that Peter bought for her? She has two branches. Wow, I'm impressed by all this stuff. Hope you bought goodies for me for my buja. So if not, just leave my shop. Trust me on that. I went to her shop to make sure I collect some ready-to-wear clothes. I picked about 15. I thought she was going to complain, but she said nothing. Stingy, selfish woman. I'm sure she can't do like that for Sharon. How Sharon? I hope you're hearing from her. Hmm. I'm not though. That girl has turned into something of her own. She has also stopped posting stuff on her status as well. Today makes it the first time that we've both gone out as a couple. Yes, it does. <laughs> but there's something I've been curious about, George. Why are you showing me so much care and love earlier when we got married? Yeah, because I loved you. I've always had feelings for you. Until you turned me down. Always? Like, ever since the first time we met? Not then. It was when we both we were both together. Living together, that's when I realized that I had feelings for you and that I wanted something serious with you. But you weren't interested in me. It was always Dennis. Just like you as well, George. It was always your lover. That's true as well. But now, look at how things has turned out to be. 
It's funny though, you know I never knew that we were both going to end up together. I didn't like you for the first time. I was like, who's this gold digger who is willing to let me pay him to be my group? Gold digger are serious right now. I'm very very serious. Charles said he wasn't interested in the contract and then the stranger out of nowhere comes and says he was interested in everything. I did it for money. I didn't have any money on me then. Poor and working as a secret man. They weren't even paying me well. I know, I did my research. I want one baby at least. I and Peter have been trying for some time now, but we have not gotten any positive response yet. I wonder how my daughter is doing, where is she even staying, and who is she with? Ma did this to me, yet she expects me to forgive her and be all sweet to her. I should ask her about it and bring her to live with me, since everything is working fine. I'll let her know. I was just speaking with your mom. My mom? How does she have your number? I gave it to her before she left. Don't worry, we haven't been talking or nothing. Why did she call you? She told me she has been calling you but you have not been picking up. My phone isn't even near me. She said your dad is in a really bad state. He got involved in an accident. She's lying, Peter. I don't want to hear it. She didn't sound like she's lying. She was crying. They need some money for him to be taken proper care of. Money? Just like I expected. Well, I sent them money just last week. She should use out of the money to take care of him. I'm sure they have not spent all of the money in a few days. You should reach out to her and go and see your dad. I'm not cancelling this vacation for anyone. We are going to enjoy ourselves here together. Then maybe next week, I'll check on them. I'm tired of all their demands. Is, is she here? She isn't here, Bernard. I've tried to call her over and over again. I've sent her text messages, but she isn't responding to any of them. I am dying. You can survive this, baby. You can. I believe this. Did you call Sharon? <coughs> did you call her? I did, but she hasn't responded yet as well. I hope she does, though. Oh my god, Daddy, Ma. Is that... Lydia, my Lydia. Yes, Daddy, I am the one. What happened, Dad? What happened to you? He got involved in an accident. I told Peter and I have been calling you for the past few days now. You have not been picking my calls. I'm very sorry, Ma. I knew I was going to come home. That's why. And I didn't think it was this serious. I'm sorry, Dad. Has he been taken to the hospital? No hospitals. No more. Yes, we have taken him there, but it isn't getting any better. He's not even able to walk well. He's just stuck on the bed. We just even brought him back today. We have to take him back to the hospital. I'm sure he'll be better there than us leaving him at home. No, I am dying, Lydia. I am dying. You are not dying, Dad. You'll be fine. I am very sure of this. Tokas, please get me some water to drink. I, I am thirsty. Daddy, we have to go to the hospital. A better hospital will be able to help you back to your feet, I'm sure. You have to forgive your mom. You have to forgive Dockers for me, please. I have forgiven her, Dad. I have, I mean it. You, you haven't, Lydia. This is all I ask of you, to forgive her and take good care of her like you will take care of your own mother. Thank you, Dockers. I love you. No, 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 no. Ben, 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 please, please, open your eyes. Open your eyes, Ben. Daddy, Daddy, we have to take him to the hospital right now. Who's mean of what you did last night? What did I do, darling? Because I don't remember doing anything. Stop all of this, Dennis. Right now, are you following me around or what? You can't blame me for following you around. You didn't keep to the end of the promise you made to me. You are hurting me, don't you see? I already explained to you that you took so long to return and I have moved on with my life. I am married, like I am really married. No, you are not. That is a contract marriage. We both know this. It was my idea. I brought up the whole idea, remember? It's real to us, Dennis. See? You are the only woman I love, Esther. I love you with my whole heart. Never. Not for once have I thought of cheating on you. I didn't even cheat on you. I've been loyal to you. While on what I all I thought of was you. Just you. Dennis! I love you and now I gave up everything to be here with you. Only for you to tell me that you are not interested in me. That, that you've moved on. Do you want to hear the truth? How is it possible that I'm here? I resigned from the military. What did you just say? I resigned and if you unblock my chat, you might get the resignation letter. I sent it to you. I was doing it for you, thinking that I will come back to meet my love. To meet you. I love you, Esther. And I know deep in your heart, you love me too. I can't believe that it's gone. <laughs> I can't believe it. My king is gone. The man that takes care of me. The man I love is gone. Who do I have now? Who do I have? Dockers, you have to be strong, please. 
everything is just getting bad for us <laughs> first this was rose rose died now bernard <laughs> who's next is it me or lydia we aren't going to lose anyone anymore we won't lose anyone again sharon oh my god sharon you're mom auntie lydia where have you been sharon where all these months you just went on home i'm sorry auntie i'm sorry mommy <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Please, where is Daddy? Where is he? Daddy's dead. <laughs> what? No, no. It's a lie. It's a lie. I, <laughs> I came to see him to ask for his forgiveness. It's a lie. Tell me, it's a joke, Mom. Your dad is dead. He died this morning. We have got to bury him already. No, no. My daddy. My daddy. <laughs> daddy isn't dead. Man, look at that pretty lady by that side. No, George. Stop with all the matchmaking already. I'm not interested in any one of them. You can't stay single forever, man. You need to settle down. Come on. How is my singleness a problem here? Remember I'm a man and I can marry at any time I like, whenever I'm ready. You're a man, yes, but you're getting old. Look at you, trying to give me advice. <laughs> Something has has been happening with Esther lately and I can't pinpoint it yet, but she's acting somehow lately around me. How has she been acting? Different, like, I can't remember the last time I kissed her aside from the good morning hugs and pecs, that's all. At times, she's, she even stays in her room, wants to be alone. Are you serious right now? Yes, I am. It's like she's thinking about something I don't know really. She might be grieving again. You know granny and the baby. Plus, I've been meaning to tell you, she came to the hospital for family planning. What? You didn't tell me all along. Someone mentioned it to me. That's why I'm aware. Else, I wouldn't even have known about it. I think she's in a really bad state right now. That's just it. I don't even know how I can help her at this point. I don't know what to do. Talk to me and see if she will open up. Talk to her and see if she will open up on what's bothering her. But don't mention that I told you about the family planning stuff. I won't mention it man. But back to what I'm saying. You need to get a woman and settle down with her. You need to do that soon. At least introduce me to someone. I will do that but not now. Are you sure the food you are cooking is going to be sweet since you don't longer cook in Abuja? Ma, you don't need to worry. The food is going to be nice. I know you and I haven't been too close over time because of the way I have treated you in the past and I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. It's not a ma, all that is in the past. How is Sharon? She's doing fine, she's sleeping already. When are you planning on going back? I've not booked my flight yet. There is something I want to talk to you about ma. Your child, how do you mean? Ma, the child I gave back to that you took away from me. If I'm not mistaken, she should be close to three years now. I want to see her and I want her back to my life. You can't be seriously talking about the child you got through a rapist. I am talking about her, ma. I don't have a child of my own yet. And my daughter is out there. God knows with who. I want her back. No, Lydia, you're not getting her back. Remember the promise you made to your dad. A dumb promise that doesn't stand anymore. I want my daughter. I don't have a child of my own yet. I want my daughter, please, ma. Did you tell Peter about the incident? The fact that you were raped and had a child outside. I bet you didn't tell him anything. My daughter, I have every right. What rights are you talking of? Before you start saying you regret what happened, it happened because we both wanted it to happen and the love will be shared for each other. I'm married to George. It was a contract marriage, Esther, and I'm sure the contract is still there, so it stands. I don't know why I'm here with you, but with you, and we can't do this, really. I love you, Esther. Tell me you don't love me as well. It's complicated for me right now. That's the truth. George is a great guy. He's nice. He's accommodating. But I'm the one you love. Remember, I was the one who told you to sign a contract with him. I didn't want you to marry anyone else but me. But to make Granny happy, I, I agreed. To make Granny happy, you brought up this suggestion. I'm the one you are meant to be. I've sacrificed a lot of our relationship I have. And I came back here alive in one piece for you. Do you know that I didn't even spend up to two days at my parents' place? I headed straight to Nigeria. I was like, I was like, I have to go and check on my woman. She has been pissed at me. Dennis! Let's make this work. This is about your heart. Your happiness. Our happiness, baby. 